time to take a look at moving, hiding, and deleting worksheets. This is something you need to know both to use Excel effectively and efficiently, as well as obviously for the Microsoft Office certification exam. This is really fairly simple to do once you learn how to do it. Before we begin, you can see that we set up a workbook. We created a brand new workbook and down along the bottom, we have worksheet one, move me, hide me, and delete me. We are going to leave this one alone, but we're going to move the move me, we're going to hide the hide me, and guess what? We're going to delete the delete me. So if you take a few minutes to set up a workbook kind of like this, it doesn't have to have the colors, by the way, I added the colors to make it very obvious what worksheet we were on so they match the tab colors down here as well. I added this specifically to help guide you as we go through the video. Let's begin first by looking at how to move a worksheet. It is fairly simple to do, to move the worksheet. If you right click on move the worksheet, if you cl right click on the move me tab, you will see up here the move or copy button. This is where you can move this worksheet. So let me click on move and I am presented with different options. Now this says before sheet. This means if I click on, for example, the delete me, it will move this one right in front of delete me. So let's take a look at that real quick. I'm going to click on the delete me. It'll move the move me right before it delete me. Ready? Here we go. And as you can see, move me has been moved to before delete me. Of course, there's an easier way to do it, which is just simply to click on the worksheet tab and to drag it where you want to put it. So I'm going to take this move me, I'm going to click and hold, and I'm going to move it in front of worksheet one. I'm going to let go. And as you can see, it was moved in front of worksheet one. You can also move a worksheet to a new workbook. Before you do that, however, you need to make sure that you have a second workbook open. If you remember, we can open a new workbook by going to file and clicking new and going to the workbooks. But we're going to create a new workbook simply by using the keyboard command. We got to start getting used to those control N. As you can see, I now have two workbooks. I have book one and book two. I'm going to move book two over here for just a second. Let's get that out of the way. And now I'm going to click on the move me. I'm going to right click on move me. I'm going to go to move or copy. And in this case, I want to move this worksheet to the new workbook. If you notice here, it says to book. I'm going to click the drop down and you can see book two is listed. I'm going to click on book two. It then looks at book two. Let me pull up book two once again for you. Let me put these side by side so you can get an easier look at these. So we have book one and we have book two. I'm going to right click on the move me. I'm going to go to move or copy. Again, I'm going to click the drop down, go to book two. Notice it only has sheet one. If you look over here, it says sheet one. I'm going to move it before sheet one, or I can move it to the end. Let's uh, move it to the end. I'm going to click OK. Notice move me disappeared from here. Going over to book two, here it is. I can also move it the same way that I moved the worksheet before, which is simply click and hold and drag it to the new workbook. As you can see, I moved it back. To recap, to move a worksheet within the same workbook, you can right click, go to move or copy, click where you want it to go, or simply click, drag and hold. To move it to a new workbook, you must first have the new workbook open and you can go to right click, move or copy, click the drop down, go to the workbook you want, move it there, or simply click, hold, and drag. So that is how you move a worksheet around the same workbook and to a new workbook. Now let's take a look at hiding and unhiding a worksheet. Before we do that, let's get rid of some of the clutter. We don't need book two open. So we're just going to maximize book one. Now we're going to hide and unhide. So let's make sure we have the hide 
tab clicks. We have the hide worksheet visible and we're going to hide it. How did you move the last worksheet? Well, you right clicked on it. So guess what? We're going to right click on hide me because a lot of this stuff is just done simply by right clicking on the tab. So I'm going to right click on the tab for hide me. And as you can see right here is an option to hide the worksheet. I'm going to click on hide and notice the hide me has now disappeared. It's no longer there. You've hidden the worksheet. Now you want it back. So let's right click either of these worksheets. It doesn't matter. Right click and go to unhide. Now we have a new dialog box that popped up. It says, what do you want to unhide? Well, we have hide me hidden. We're going to click on that. Make sure that's clicked. Click OK. And now the hide me worksheet is now visible. You might want to hide worksheets sometimes if you're giving it to somebody else and you don't want them to mess with a certain worksheet. So for example, let's say you have a budget and you keep budgets from the last two years and you don't want the last you know, year showing, you can hide that worksheet. You don't necessarily need to delete it. You can hide it. Or if you have information you don't really want somebody to, to work with or mess up, you can hide it that as well. Finally, we need to know how to delete a worksheet. Well, if you know how to move a worksheet, and if you know how to hide a worksheet, then you know also how to delete a worksheet, or you probably got a good idea. I'm going to click on the delete me worksheet. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to go up to delete. Now, depending on what you have currently in the worksheet, you will get different dialog boxes. I'm going to click delete. Because I have something currently in this worksheet, Microsoft gives me a warning that says, Hey, 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 pay attention. <laughs> if you delete this, this is gone. This is gone. It's, it's over. Are you sure you want to delete it? So it gives you another option to back out in case you didn't mean to do it. In this case, I'm going to click delete. And now the delete me worksheet is gone. Let me show you what would happen if we didn't have anything in the worksheet. Let's open up a brand new worksheet. What is the keyboard command for opening a new worksheet? Hopefully you said shift F 11 that opens up a brand new worksheet. Remember it's keyboard shortcut and we have a generic name. Notice there's nothing currently in this worksheet. I'm going to right click on it, click delete and notice it just deleted it without any fanfare. Didn't give me a warning. That's because there was nothing in that worksheet. For even more great tutorials and our complete catalog of online courses, please visit us at mrfordsclass.com.